You know, I was honored to have uh, Bayork and uh, our friend Tommy Walsh as co-authors on the book that was just mentioned, On the Line. And since we have, since then, Bayork and I have collaborated on two musicals, a half a dozen published interviews, uh, and a forum on women in theater. And for most people, those things alone would count as the better part of a career, but it barely counts as a footnote in the amazing adventure that has been the life and works of Bayork Lee. Her Broadway debut as tiny Princess Ying Yawalak in the original Broadway cast of The King and I has not only passed into Broadway legend, it has been immortalized in the Pulitzer Prize winning script of a chorus line in which Bayork was featured as, quote, the peanut on point Connie Wong. Now that role was kind of the pinnacle of her dancing career on Broadway, which has also included Golden Boy, Promises, Promises, and other great musicals. But that pinnacle was kind of a beginning for Bayork because she has directed and choreographed musicals, including a chorus line for which she is kind of the person who is the torchbearer. Uh, also, South Pacific, Animal Crackers, etc., around the world. Her inspiring work, encouraging and developing young dancers across the U.S., and her landmark effort, cultivating the talent of all ages, in the National Asian Artists Project, helped earn her the 2017 Isabel Stevenson Award from the Tony Awards. And aren't we all lucky, lucky, lucky to have her here with us tonight? You know, there's, there's certain people that you meet as you pass through the world who inspire you. Certain people who you just talk to them or you just shake their hand. And suddenly you think to yourself, I really want to write something. I want to choreograph something. I want to dance. And Bayork is one of those magical people that you meet in this world, and I feel so privileged to have known her, and I'm so glad that they are recognizing her tonight. Tonight we're giving Bayork this award for her outstanding contribution to the world of dance. It's an honor to be here. God, I'm a dancer. A dancer dances. And that's what Cassie says in a chorus line. And that was me at five years old telling my mother in the middle of the St. James Theater, I want to be a dancer. I want to be on Broadway. And here I am. And years and years later, I had the honor, as uh, the film said, that Michael Bennett and Bob Avian gave me the privilege uh, and uh, to the keeper of the keys for a chorus line. And I've been all around the world with them for 44 years, and I'm very honored to be a part of this evening. Um, wow, 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 wow. So Michael and Bob gave me, uh, let me make the transition from uh, dancer, dance captain, assistant choreographer, choreographer, director, and producer. And so this organization is really, really important for uh, all of us because we have to, one day the body says, that's it, um, or the voice isn't there, and we really need an organization like this to help us get through to the next step. So I'm very honored when somebody taps me on the back and says, hey, we recognize what you do, and that's really an honor. And so as a producer now for National Asian Artists Project, which I started with Nina Zoe Lam, who's here, and uh, Stephen Eng, I am now giving back to my community, and it's really important. I have uh, after-school programs 
program in Chinatown. I have a uh, choir of 35. And uh, it's really, really important for us to give back also. I went around the world with the chorus line, and I came back home to to Chinatown to give back. And so this honor is for all of my people that have gotten me here. So thank you very much. Thank you.